He just takes a lot more time up. But <laughs> Lugs kicking things off with him once again. Hopefully the third time is the charm as this looks up for the seaside. All right, well, here we go. Watch the lugs, see what he goes for. Does he go for the underground route? Looks like he's just going to go balls to the wall straight down the middle. It's going to be very interesting to see whether or not it'll work out. Trinity, they actually started off very strong last time. See if they can do it again. And there is a player actually going underground for the opposite team. So this could be a big play out of his books. But it will be first blood for the team at Trinity as they do get a two down. So it seems like the tables have turned off the start in this one by. Yeah, you know, it's going to see that now. See the lugs just chilling back here for this time being and just watching out for his teammates. We're going to try and be pushing across. Obviously, you know, you get that B flag area. He's going to try and keep his other players away from it too. It's a smart play what he's done. He's straight to the top priority and he's keeping these guys off it. Now he's going to try and cause a bit of distraction down towards this A area. You see all the other players from that damage squad are over trying to attack towards B, but he's here at A. He's managed to at least neutralize that one and he's going to treat it off there now. He's going to turn on Oracle mode for myself. Hopefully, production will do the same. Oh, he turns to his right. And sadly can't connect. Looked at links just to disconnect there. So game around away though, so we'll keep on going. All right, damage control. They're down a leg here, and they did capture a home flag. They're losing B in the meantime, so they're going to have to pray for a miracle for that. As all four players from Trinity uh, move out from the middle of the map, they're very. Ooh, Vertic actually picked up a nice kill there. Lugs gets a double, and that's going to be a free down. Need to get their fourth in here as quick as they can because that numbers game is just starting to affect them. You don't want to go down early in these games, because especially on a map like Freight. If you get trapped in that triple cap, which is about to go down, it is extremely hard to push out from it. But Trinity, they seem extremely strong, even with the numbers in their favor. And damage control, not the best of starts. No, uh, it's not, but obviously being that one person down is going to cost them a Danzor. Seven-point streak all the way up there. And continuing on, he's a little bit of a rain down on this side of things. Obviously, they do have that one flag still, so, you know, it, it's a good thing at least for damage. They are holding one flag down. They are currently losing it. As I was <laughs> saying, that Danzor now down in this vicinity. Sees one behind a container there. Looking for the shots out. There it is there. He'll pick up Dongo was in wreck right in, in his own spawn. Three-minute mark now upon us. Almost past the first quarter. And there's a trip cap for a short time. They are losing that home flag of A. Looks like their fourth won't be connecting anytime soon. But you did say they were able to lock down a home flag. Trinity, though, they're just running around the map like maniacs, slaying their hearts content. Nearly a 20 point advantage. And we're a quarter into the game. Zor, Toss going for his team, was on a seven point streak. Finally dropped. I'm just rotating through the players. I actually did see Lippy Dog. He actually had an assault rifle out off the break, which I did find interesting and more. Interesting was the fact that he posted up out the front of White. So he tried to get his team some good control. He did actually do so, uh, but hasn't had the best of recoveries ever since then. That's actually going to be a free down for Trinity. So damage control, they do show some life as they do push out to the middle of the mat. Let's see what they can do, though. Yeah, you know, obviously with that, that play now, we're rejoining here. We're going to jump out of Blinks just to see what exactly what he's doing here. He tries to pick up the two piece and three piece there at that B area. Sadly, could not do so. As we said, Libby Dog now in the back of his spawn coming fresh off here. They are down for that. Obviously, a two flag advantage in the hands of Trinity for the time being. Almost a 30 point lead down the second quarter. Two minute mark upon us. And Vertex nailed him. Let's see what he's going to be doing over here at the white side of things. Can't really do much. These guys are really challenging here to push back, but that's their issue here. They're trying to push back to their home flag instead of just pushing out for a bit of map control and trying to clear that area out. And every time they push out back towards their home area, they're just running head to head with this own team of. That Trinity squad, so Demi is still in a tough situation. Well, Lee's did connect back, so damage. So they're only down by about double the points, and it is still early days. We did see how easy it was for the team of Trinity to lock in some points, so they're definitely not out of it, but they need to play an almost picture perfect game from now on in. Let's see if Lynx can get his team some life. We'll watch him as he gets absolutely destroyed by the lugs, unfortunately. But we'll watch him off the respawn. Let's see if him connecting will give his team some life. They really do need it. Jolt start back into the game. Minute left in the half before we switch sides. See if they can maybe lock down B. Stop the flow of points going back in the favor of Trinity. Does pick up one kill. And it looks like he I might have just disconnected there. Yeah, That's a little it's, unfortunate. It's ironic with, the, with that game with like DC links, but mm. what are you going to do about it? Just see, I'm going to jump board with Vertex now over this side of things. Once again, Lynx has timed out. So they might end it during the half, perhaps not for sure. Not to make a note of that scoreline, though. But because it actually changes over automatically, I don't know if they're allowed to end it during the half now anymore. I'll have to wait and find out, like I said, though. So coming out of that final 30 seconds here in the first half, 94 to 48 at the time being. And Danzel, he's had a nice little run. It's an 8 and 9, 9 and 8, sorry. Four point streak to his, uh, sorry, four captures. Five point streak to his name right now. And he's had a fair few point streaks going for his name as well. A couple of 
up there in the sixes and sevens at the moment. They're mainly in the capture side of things, though, that have been doing that in the defensive points for him as well. As we come into the center of the first half, ladies and gentlemen, 104 to 53 will be that time on right now. And we'll have to just see what they're going to do. But like I said, 104 to 53. Remember that, right? If you need to, I might write down myself, actually. If I find a bit of paper somewhere. Always have a bit of paper on my desk waiting for me. And that way we'll just have to make sure we get a note of that just in case. It does have to get into there. I see what the, the admins are typing away and just trying to sort that out. But they may not even end it. They might just get him straight back in, hopefully. And they might realise they have to continue on through. But, you know, it's sort of a sad thing to see coming into the first game of the day, so I'm just connecting <laughs> the down a player for the most part. It is a little unfortunate, but you know what? It, um, it does happen. And damage control, they just got to try, try and make the best of the worst situation. They do have a search and destroy up next, so you never know. Search and destroy, you don't, you know, I have seen a few 3v4s in that. So uh, they have their opportunities, we'll say that, coming up. But we still have another five minutes to get played out. You never know, a miracle might go their way. But if Lugs just keeps on the rampage, which he's going on right now, I really do doubt it. As he is currently 13 for 8. Three down, unfortunately, for damage control. That's going to be a swift B capture for the team of Trinity. And if they can lock this down for about two minutes or so, they'll be the nail in the virtual coffin. But, you know, damage control, they're not going out without a fight. Oh, definitely not. You know, they're going to put in a good little show for themselves there for us here. They want to keep the momentum high and hopefully get the, you know, maybe this class is a bit of a warm-up for them instead. And coming to that S&D next game, they'll be the answer back. We see Lynx connecting back in once again. This is his third attempt now to try and stay into the game and hopefully help his teammates out. Now, they've got still plenty of time here in the second half as well. Just under four minutes to go. You know, they're only down by about 60 points. It, it's doable. It's going to be hard, but it is doable. But, you know, they're going to need at least a trip cap for a short time just to get that back to the gap closed right down. And then, you know, have a neutralization happening for a little while there as well. But right now, you know, Trinity's game is still very much on point. We're here with Summer right now from his side of things, trying to pick up the clean kills there over at Owens. Can't get the second. Buzz now coming off the red. Oh, the 369 round from Donga to take him <laughs> down as well. He won't be happy with that one. Donga now. Coming out strong, or tries to at least get some close line by Summer's bullets there a moment ago. Just like that, you know, Trinity seemed to be the biggest spot of bother there for a moment. They turn it back around and run in their hands. They're going to try and pick up this, this, this flag. They do back there at B and Lynx. A bit of trouble, but he's on four and one to try and answer back with. Well, he connected back and went on a bit of a rampage in the middle of the map. Exactly where his team needed that. Don't know if it's three minutes left, whether or not they can close the gap. But you know what, Lynx is putting everything out on the table right now. He's finally got five kills to his aim before he does drop in the middle of the map there and he really did start off strong after connecting back to the game for the third time and now damage control. It's actually given them a little bit of life. They've been much more aggressive in the middle of the map. It's not working out as well because the positioning from Trinity is just too strong. They got that left side of the map locked down fairly well and in the back of the spawn is damage. So they're gonna have a rough time trying to get out of C here. Two minutes 30 left. Nearly double the points advantage. It's safe to say that this is Trinity's game to lose. It was a little unfortunate for damage that they didn't have their fourth in here for about seven minutes or so, and it really has affected them. But let's look to the future, Bio. There is a search and destroy up next. Completely different game mode, completely different map. Hopefully, damage can control can bounce back. They have shown that, you know, they can contest Trinity. They can, you know, go off. Of course, Lynx did go on that little bit of a rampage when he connected back. So it's going to be very interesting to see when we get into the next game mode if they, you know, maybe get some composure back on them. But it is a triple cap for Trinity, and it's safe oh, to say, oh, oh Lux, that would be the nail in the coffin there. Yeah, Lux with a three-piece after a nice little one-a turnaround wow. there just to keep the C-flag away, and the triple cap really locked in. Lux on a 9.2 right now, and still cleaning up kills as the opposition team of Damage is pointing that back red side. You know, it was a very much, they'd already won it. They just put it over the 100 point mark or close to 100 point mark right now. And they're just increasing it bit by bit as that time will tick on away with 1 minute 20 still left on that clock. But yeah, you, you have called it already and you are right to do so. This is going to be a Trinity game, number one to them. And they're coming to that SMD on Sovereign, you know, they'll feel, they'll feel confident. But obviously, you know, being a different game type from map altogether, it's, it, the other team damage can bring it back. They can go back with an SMD, but they're going to have to try and really dig deep. Obviously, the numbers aren't that impressive just across the board. They were in a player for the most part. You know, we did mention Lynx. He did go off when he first came back. I think he was 4-1, and one, but now he's 6-7. and seven. So whether he's still having catching issues or if he's just not his, his time of day right now, we're not too sure. But hopefully, you to quick clean it up a little bit better off coming to that game number two. There's 45 seconds still on the clock here, but at 200 points to 94. Yeah, Trinity really 
hammering down and just showing them what, the, what they're made of in this game of one. Absolutely. Looking through the actual scoreboard. All of them. So for Budge, if he can get one kill in the next 30 seconds, about to break 20 kills across the board. There it is, all of them above 20, dropping positive, and also the captures is fairly well spread out. So you've got to note that for the team of Trinity. So they're working together as a cohesive team, which is always a good sign as they're still locking down the triple caps. Summer was a beautiful double to get see before the nade cleans him up in the end. There's a final few seconds. We'll take on the end. 200 points, though. You've got to give credit to Trinity. You don't see that too often in Domination Freight, especially in the competitive scene at all, even in a 3v4 situation. So it's going to be nearly over 100 point. Or is it? Yeah, nearly 100 point. Yeah. Advantage there. So that's a big number. Big number there for yeah. Trinity. They walk away as map number one. And that's uh, an ideal start for their 2k campaign right now. Yeah, it was. The 218 to 99 all up in the end. So 119 points is the lead that Trinity had up. And remember, the Trinity were up by a player for the most part. Obviously, with the damage control being down, a player was DC linked to disconnected twice the third time. He did manage to stay in for long enough to finish up with. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, after this short commercial break, we get number two, s &D on Sovereign here for the ACL 2K. Don't go anywhere.